Colorado Ballet opened in 59th annual production of a beloved holiday favorite last weekend, The Nutcracker at Denver's Ellie Calkins Opera House. Joining us, two principal dancers, Dana Benton, Sugar Plum Fairy, and Yosvani Ramos, Cavalier in The Nutcracker. I love having you guys on. I just love asking you guys questions, no matter what part you're playing. But first, we're going to start with you, Yosvani, okay. okay? So first of all, Let's start with this. This runs until the end of December, basically the end of this month. So how many performances will there be? How do we get tickets? I'm sure people are probably already lining up. So we're doing 26 uh, public performances and two student shows, out of which 21 are already sold out. So um, if you want to come and check out our beautiful Nutcracker, make sure that you go to coloradovalley.org and get your tickets. Uh, best availability is um, after Christmas. Oh, after, but okay. It's, but it's still tickets available. Yeah, there's still gonna be some yeah. time. Now, you that's a lot of shows, guys. Yeah. That's a lot of shows. How do you keep in shape for that many? Are you just exhausted by the time it's over? Yeah, we usually begin as exhausted and finish even more exhausted, but we rehearse five days a week for about four weeks for every production. Okay. Uh, as well, nutrition is very important. You know, what we eat, the fuel that we put in our bodies. Uh, sleep so we can recover and myself personally I do like things like Pilates and cross training on the side to keep up like the strength and just keep it in like shape yeah. absolutely all right Dana this I think is a typo it says you've been with the Colorado Ballet for 19 years so That's you started when you were typo. like three you were like three years old when you started with the Colorado Ballet no. yeah okay anyway now you if you've been doing this so long but you you what is it like then to be presenting this every season I mean it's such a fan favorite. It is. It's a very family friendly holiday tradition for most families so it's really great to have all of our audience members come back and bring new ones and every year I like to try and go out um, in the audience when I'm not performing and just hear the reactions of the family and the kids and it just really re-inspires me. Oh, that is cool. That'd be yeah. a nice thing to do, kind of yeah. just soak up that energy. Now, also, you've got some students from the Colorado Ballet Academy also in the production, correct? Yes. Yeah, we have about 60 students in each performance. Oh, wow. There's like, I think, over 300 total, and they rotate their own casts. Um, but it's also fun for them to get to work with us. Yeah. Um, I remember doing it when I was a kid and at the ballet school in Toronto and when getting you were to 18 months old yes. yeah <laughs> <laughs> getting to work with the company of members was just super special and I know that I think our Academy kids enjoy it as well that's odd yo Swanee, talk about anything new we should know about this year so this year is the last year that we're performing this production with the current sets and costumes so for 2020 um, which is our 60th anniversary Colorado Valley 60th anniversary uh, we are bringing um, uh, new sets and uh, costume designers to redo the whole oh, uh, wow. yeah, production. The choreography will remain the same okay. and the Victorian style of the production will remain the same. But uh, uh, since we are in um, much need, um, uh, f uh, need of freshen up the production, yeah. then we are have we have brand new sets and costumes, so that's very very exciting for us. I love the fact that you guys are so successful, and you could be just be resting on your laurels and thinking, oh, it, it's going to sell out no matter what. We're just going to keep it the same. But instead, you go out there and you're like, no, we're going to freshen it up. We're going to keep getting better and bigger. I don't know how you do it, but you do it every year. Talk again about why you think maybe Dana, this is a time to a little freshen up a little bit. Uh, well, like Yosfani said, um, we've had our sets for. Uh, quite a while, over 30 years. Oh. Um, well, they're 30 years old, and we've had them for 15 years. We bought them from San Francisco Ballet. So they've been through the ringer. Um, from the audience, they look amazing. Our costumes still look great. Right. Um, but up close and personal, the sets are a little bit falling apart, and the costumes are also falling apart. But our wardrobe team has done amazing over these years, keeping it as fresh looking as possible oh, from the audience. I would never have known, absolutely. Yeah. Which well, kind of then begs the question, how much something like this costs? I'm assuming maybe you need our help, right? Yes, if you're listening out there and you love it, let's go ahead, how can we help? Um, they've estimated about 2.5 million for the whole thing. Ooh. Um, we started a GoFundMe, which are, we're trying to get 100,000 from that. Yeah. Um, so for our audience members who want to be a part of the new Nutcracker sets and costumes, it's a good way to participate. 
um, you can go to clarabelly.org slash GoFundTheMagic. And what a neat gift it. you could give someone, too. Hey, yes. you want to be part of the, the new sets right. and everything for the ballet. Yeah. All right, quickly, what's coming up in the next year? So um, by popular demand, we're bringing back Peter Pan end of January. Oh, yeah. And we have added an extra performance, so more people have the chance to come and, and see this thrilling uh, production. Then in March, we're doing... Um, uh, to the Force, which has one world premiere and two uh, previous uh, previously performed um, productions. And then at the end, in April, we're doing Ballet Masterworks, which have three of uh, the dancers' favorite um, ballets to perform, Petit Mort, In the Upper Room, and Theme and Variations, which is going to be an incredible Sounds program. amazing. Always great having you guys here. Purchase tickets for Colorado Ballet's The Nutcracker online, coloradoballet.org. Performances are now through December 29th at Denver's Ellie Calkins Opera House. Take time to enjoy the Colorado Ballet production. They paid for today's segment.